Hi everyone. Uh, we are going to discuss static IP routing. So static IP routing or IP routing are just static routing. So as per definition, routing itself is a process. So in this way, routing is a process to select a path from a source to destination node or network. So from a source, so we have a source, we have a destination. So in this case, for example, this is a source. This may be this is a destination. So routing has to select the path. Routing has to select a route from the source node to destination node or from source network to destination network. Why do we need it? You see, the routing is done by router. So when the router has some information to send to some specific network, it may have multiple paths or it may have multiple options to go to the destination. For, for example, in this case, if this is a router and this is the destination, then we have this path, one path, and we also have second path, which is from this router. So in this case, router has multiple options to go to the destination. So at this time, which path is feasible for router to select? So apparently we can see that this, this, this is actually maybe one hop away or maybe one jump away from this destination. But for this path, we have two jumps or two hops. So maybe it seems like this, this is more feasible. But if, for example, this is a serial link and this is slow uh, link, and if this is faster link. So in this case, maybe this, these are two jumps but this link may be faster than this link because this may be slower and this, this may be ser uh, serial link. And this may be maybe optical fiber where the information actually travels in the form of light and this is really the, 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 the fast medium to carry the information. So on the basis of different parameter or different criteria, the router has to decide that which path to go. So this is, this is the job of router. And to make that decision, router itself depends on something. Yeah? So router maintains that information in some table, and that table is known as a routing table. And in routing table, a routing table is basically a database about the possible path towards different destinations in a network. So for example, this router will have a table that is known as routing table. And in this routing table, there will be an information about the destination, okay? What are the destination? So maybe about this, in, about information about this network, information about this network, and which interface to follow, maybe this interface, maybe this interface or this interface, and what will be the next hop? So what maybe? The first jump may be to this router, or maybe this jump may be to this router. So information about the next hop is also there in the, in the routing table. And now, in the same way, every router in this network maintains a routing table, okay? And routing table actually maintains the database about the possible path towards different destinations in the network. So in the same way, the second router, this router, will have a routing table. The third router will also have a routing table. And in each routing table, the router maintains the information about the different networks and all about all the possible paths to reach a particular destination in the network. So this is basic about routing. Now, now the router uh, actually gets some help this uh, to fill this routing table. So this routing table is actually the part of operating system and it is in, in the memory. In the memory, it saves uh, this routing table. But who is going to inform the router or who's going to tell the router that these are the destination and these are the possible paths? So who's going to inform the router? So actually, to fill this table or to inform the routers about these different destinations and about different uh, possible paths. We have different ways. And one of the ways known as a static routing. In static routing, what we do, we as network engineer, our network administrator, 
we configure the router or we tell the router that this is the possible destination. For example, this is the possible destination and this is the possible way you have to use one, uh, one that particular interface to reach that destination. It means we actually train the router that you have uh, you have these possible destination networks and you have these possible paths. So we are actually configuring the router to select a specific path. It means we are going to dictate the router that these are the destinations and these are the paths and you have to follow them. So we, and there is another way to inform the router that is known as dynamic routing. And in dynamic routing, we have designed and we have invented some protocols. Those are routing protocols. So protocols means rules and regulations. So we have defined some rules and regulations. And a router actually following those rules and regulations finds out the possible path to different destination by itself. So you can say automatically, but following certain rules. So we have different kinds of routing protocols. By following those routing protocols, actually router learns the different ways, are different paths, are different routes to different destinations, and that learning is saved in this routing table. So in this way, all information will be filled out. Now, a static routing. There are uh, uh, two different ways. One is a static network route. In that static network route, we actually have a route to a network, so to a single network. So this may be single, or we have may have multiple, we can group somewhere. But this specifically network means we have network, a static network route. And for that, for example, we have this network, maybe. We have this one network, or we can, this, this is specifically, this is one subnet. This is second subnet. This is third subnet. Now, in this first subnet, uh, yeah, so we also have one this subnet. So from this router to this router, we need a separate subnet for this. And from this to this, so here we can have serial connection. Here we, we can have gigabit Ethernet. So we can have different kind of uh, connection here to connect them. But for them, we also need a subnet. So uh, uh, one, two, three, four, and five. We have different five subnets. And for each subnet, for, for example, in this subnet, we have this host, and this host has this IP address that is class C, 192.168.1.1. So this is in the subnet ID of this is 192.168.1.0. So just in host portion, we have zeros. So this is the subnet ID of this network. And this subnet is connected with the router using this particular interface. So this may be fast Ethernet. And we need to assign an IP address to this interface, and that IP address should be in the same subnet. It means these three octets should be same. So for example, we gave 192.168.1.2 to this interface. So this is one in subnet. And then how to configure this? So, so to assign an IP address to particular interface of the router, we have some set of commands. So first we need to go, so this is privilege mode, we need to go to, we need to type configure terminal, and then we need to go to a specific interface where we want to configure the IP address. For example, in this case, this is fast ethernet. So with this command, we went to fast ethernet interface, and then we assign, we give this command IP address, then this is the actual IP address which we want to assign. So this is actually two. So this is between two, so two. And this is the subnet mask, and that's it. So after giving the IP address, you also need to activate that interface by giving no shutdown command. In this way, that interface will uh, start working. So that will be an up up state, and it, it will start functioning.
Okay, so this is how we actually assign IP address to particular interface of a router. Okay, so now we also need to give uh, IP address to this interface. So this is serial 00. So we need to give an IP address to this. So this is different subnet than this. You can see this one and this is two, means this is different subnet. And on the opposite end of this link, we also need to give an IP address, but you can see this is in the same subnet. You can see, so first three objects are same. So this is in the same subnet. So both ends of this link, serial links are within the same subnet. Exactly in the same way, we have to give IP address on this interface, IP address on this interface, and the commands will remain same, which we just saw, only the interfaces will change. So in this way, this is gigabit ethernet, and this is serial interface, and this was fast ethernet, clear? So we have to assign the IP addresses to these all interfaces of the router. In the same way, we have to assign IP address, so this host can have any IP address, and uh, you can see this host is basically in this subnet, that is 192.168.4, so it means dot four, this is the subnet, and we have to assign IP address to this interface of the router that should be within the same subnet. So we gave this IP to this interface exactly in the same way for this subnet. We have dot five subnet, so this is the subnet. So using the same subnet, we gave IP address to this interface of the router as well. So this can be fast ethernet or whatever. So you just connect the switch with this. So you have to give IP address to this interface of the router as well by using the same command which we saw before. So in this way, we have configured all the IP address to all the interfaces in our network. Clear? And then, to, to, to set the static route, for example, if you want to say, for example, if we are at this router, say at this router, and if we want to go to this destination that is there. So you see from this one, so I'm going to draw it. So from this network on this router, we want to reach at this destination. Then if you want to select or we want to configure the static route, then we use the command that is IP route. And then we give the IP address of the destination. So destination network. So this is destination network. And then the subnet mask for that. So this is class C. So 255.255.255.0. So this is the subnet mask for this subnet so we will read at this subnet with this and then which interface to use so this final this thing is the interface so on this router we are configuring that if we want to move or if we want to reach at this destination network then we have to use this serial interface as s00 so this is s00 so we have configured with this command that now, if a packet arrives and if this packet wants to go to this network, then this will be the interface to be used, okay? And this packet will be received at this router and then the router will handle to transmit this information to this subnet, okay? So this is how we can actually set a static network route for a single network. And now, so this is static not, uh, network route again to a single uh, network, but this time, instead of using, you see, we are using the same command and uh, the same destination, which is this destination. But this time, instead of using the interface at this router, for example, we are going to configure this router, so at this router, instead of mentioning the interface to follow, we have given the IP address of neighboring router. So what we have given, we have given the IP address of this router. So this is the IP address which we have assigned. You can see, 
IP address for this interface that is 192.168.22. So we have given this IP address. It means now instead of giving the information about the interface to follow, we have given the IP address of the neighboring router. So this is also possible to configure the static IP address in this way. And then we can also uh, statically set uh, we can also uh, use a static host route. Here, we will be uh, interested in a specific host. So you see, in this case, instead of this complete subnet, we want that we want specific information to reach at this particular host. So a host has 192.168.4.1 IP address. So instead of this one, we will be using this specific IP address. And the command for that will be again same IP network and then this is the destination so this is the destination IP address and this is the subnet bus and this is the IP address of IP address of the next hop so this is the next hop okay so we give this next hop IP address here and here this is important to uh, note that instead of uh, 255.255.255.0 we have made this all 255, 255, 255, and 255. This uh, actually indicates that we want to go specifically to this host machine. So uh, by configuring this router with this command, we are going to set a static route to go from this point to specifically this host machine. Okay, so previous time we were just in this subnet, but this time we are going to specific host. So this is the static host route, and previously we discussed the static network route. Clear? So these were the uh, basic commands to set the static route uh, in a router. And uh, uh, yes, so we will do this thing, uh, same thing in the packet tracer as well for the demonstration purpose, but as far as basics are concerned, I hope uh, I was able to make something clear. Uh, in your mind. Thank you.